they got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking, who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I got to oblige inside. I've been plotting on the way that we could elevate. I mess up the track with your skill, I never hesitate. I put a lot of time into the craft to make it resonate. I regulate with repetition, I could be the greatest. But ever me, illogical, the other have a lady. Practice all the patience that I got in my attendant mind. I'm in the mind, the ignorance, so in a minute, I make it relatable. I'll evade the negativity at all costs. Trying to find my way, I'm feeling so lost. Finally in the zone, I got a focus. But that can be an issue, I'm addicted to the work. It's all I ever want to do, pursue the purpose that I'm pleading for and need a more than pity. Many minuscule opinions picking apart the immaculate, happily apathetic, and naturally authentic. The sentence is sentimental, like the words are just a piece of my soul. What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add lyrics to your videos. Now I'm going to be showing you three different styles. One where you just have a plain background and you have the text on screen. Another one where you have black bars on your video, kind of like these diss tracks. And then at the bottom you have the lyrics. The final way I'll be showing you is basically just how to add them onto a video wherever you want to. Now these are very simple ways to add lyrics to your videos. If you're looking to create a full on lyric video and you want a tutorial on that, just let me know in the comments and I'll make that for you soon. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16 and I'm going to be using the exact same song that you heard in the example. So I'm going to be showing you a couple of ways how to do this uh, lyric effect and also I'm going to assume you already have your lyrics written out. If you don't, well, go back and get your lyrics. If it's a well-known song, then usually you can just go on Google, type in the name of the song with lyrics, and as you can see, the song I'm using, all the lyrics are already written out for me. Of course, this will save you a lot of time. So that's on my second monitor, and now let's get into this. So I want to look for the part where he starts talking or rapping. Really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking, who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I got to oblige inside. I've been planning on the way that we could elevate. I'm as good to track with your. So you can tell this song is super quick, and I'm gonna be showing you a way to get around it. And we're gonna be using markers for this, and basically anywhere where there's a slight pause or you want to add the new lyrics on screen, press M on your keyboard. Okay, so you can see that song is super, super quick in terms of the lyric speed. And uh, this part really, you don't have to be too accurate because you can always amend where you place the lyrics. Now, I'll give you a tip how I was laying out the markers, as well as listening to the audio and finding the pauses, I was also reading the lyrics on my second monitor. If you don't have a second monitor, just pull it, pull up the lyrics on your phone, read them off there, and all you need to do is press M on your keyboard and play the music as it goes along. So the next thing I'm going to do is right click and insert a video track, so this is going to be above the current video. So I'll be showing you a couple of ways how to do this, one which is adding it just directly straight on top. Another way is how uh, a lot of these diss tracks lately have been using them is where there's two black bars which is known as letterbox and then on that black writing is in white. The other way is having no video and just having the text come up on screen. So I'll show you this way first, say you just want it on a blank screen, you want your text, simply head over to media generators, scroll all the way down and I recommend legacy text. Now me personally, I always believe the default is the best one to choose from, so I'm going to pick and drag that on. And for example, this uh, in between 1 to 2, I'm just going to play it through. So now I know what the lyrics will be in between 1 and 2, and all I'm going to do is Control C and paste it over here. Now the reason I can do that is because I have the lyrics written out, so this is why I recommend you have them written out. 
Next thing, press Ctrl A and you can then have control over the size and how it looks. So you can pick any fonts you would like. For example, I've picked Nexa Bold. Then you can choose the font size. So appropriate font would be 35. As you can see, this is how it will look. You can then X out of it and I'll play it through. I don't think I really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. And notice right there, he says two lines and then it goes to the next marker. So what I'm going to do is press Ctrl C, Ctrl V and select OK. I'm going to shorten this so it fits in between here. Then I'm going to head over to my second monitor. If you don't have a second monitor, just write it out from your phone. Um, I'm going to select this button, which is generated media. I'm going to press Ctrl A on the text and press Ctrl V. Notice this is now too big, so just press Ctrl A. We can size down the text to say 25. It fits perfect. X out of it. Now this is what we have. I, stop. Think you're right. I don't think I really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. And then once again, Ctrl C, Ctrl V, select OK. Drag this across. Just listen over to what lyrics you have next. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I got to oblige. There we go. So again, I'm going to press this button, and I know it's another two lines, so I'm just going to press Control C, Control V, paste it in right here. Fits in perfect. Once again, I'll just play this through for the final time. I'll only do this much because I'm sure it's going to be obvious how to add the lyrics now, but then I'm going to be showing you different ways or different styles to add them. I I don't think I really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I got to oblige. There we go. So this is the first way, just adding it on a black screen. Super simple. Next is, say, adding it on a video. First thing you need to do is position it at the bottom, at the top, on the side, wherever there's space, wherever you think is appropriate. So to do that, I recommend that you move the text using the track motion. This means any piece of text on this track will be in that exact same position. So select the track motion tool. And what I recommend you do, have sync cursor unchecked. Make sure at the very first keyframe, have move or prevent move X only uh, checked. Have this one unchecked. So now you can only move it up and down. Come across in your timeline so you can see your text and just move it into position. Now, I'll probably have to short, uh, make this smaller, but I'll just come across. These are the main lyrics, of course. There we go. So that's good for me. This one is going to be too big, so I'm going to press this button here, press Control A, and I'll make this 25 as well. So now playing it through. I, stop. Think you're right. I don't think I really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I got to apply. There you go. And then the other way to do it is, of course, having the letterbox effect. So I'm just going to right click and insert a video track. Now, this next part you download from Google. I will be providing you a link in the description. So on Google, this is all I've wrote on black bars, PNG, 1920 by 1080. And notice not all of them will be 1920 by 1080. So hover over it. You can see this one right here. Then just right click it and select save image as. Save it where you know you're going to remember it. And then you can just drag and drop this into Vegas above your video. Notice black bars are here straight away. Drag this across the entire video. Now I believe 25 will be too big or the font. So as you can see, it is too big. So then this is where we come back to generated media again. And it looks like we'll need to make everything one line. Or if we press Control A, you probably have to make your text 15 or below. And to be honest, it wouldn't look the best. So I'm going to put everything on one line this time. So what I'm going to do, do it like this. Go over to my next track or next clip, press Control A. I'm going to put it to size 17 and just hope everything fits. If not, you can see it doesn't look too good. So what we're then going to do is now split everything into one line. So this is where it's going to be a bit more time consuming if you have fast lyrics like I'm dealing with now. But this is how you'll have to do it. I don't think I really got it. So notice he's just said that line there. I'm just going to move that off. I'm going to drag this one into place. Select generator media. Press Control A. Press Control V. That's now in place. X out of it. And now 
this is what it looks like. And of course, we just need to reposition the text so it's uh, on the black bars. So go back to the track motion and just drag it down. And remember, anything that you touch on track motion will affect anything else on this track. So I'll just continue to do this last part again. I've been thinking, who the fuck am I to disagree? So that part, I'm going to press M on my keyboard. Again, this is going to be laying down a marker. It just lets me know when I can, uh, well, where I stop it to, which is going to be here. And of course, having your lyrics on a second monitor is going to be so much more time. Uh, well, it's going to save a lot more time because you can just simply copy and paste and look at it at the same time. Press Control C, Control V, select OK. Now, I already know what the next line will be because this is my original marker to tell me where the next line ends. So I'm just going to put that on. And now this is what we'll get. So I'll just paste that in. So let's play it through. I stop. I don't think I really got it. I don't think that I can get over all of my problems. I've been thinking who the fuck am I to disagree? I heard I'm pretty dope, so I guess I gotta oblige. So that's how you can create a basic lyric video in Vegas Pro 16. Of course, there is other ways to create lyrics which can be more advanced, more time consuming. However, lyric videos do look pretty nice. So I will be covering that in a future video, and if you want to see that, let me know in the comments, and I'll make that sooner than you think. Selections of different cadences to kill